Production is hard. And this building is the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. Tesla's newest Gigafactory, called Giga Texas, is in full swing production mode. And if rumors from the site are to be believed, it will completely transform the automotive industry. In fact, Giga Texas has quietly increased manufacturing to thousands of units per week. This unprecedented rate completely shifts the game for everyone. Tesla is one of the most enormous and formidable technology companies in the world. It has a market cap close to $620 billion and a mission to hasten the transition to sustainable energy around the globe by means of its electric automobiles and energy products. In order to build its Cybertruck, electric semi-truck, Model 3 and Model Y automobiles and other electric vehicles, Tesla has created an insane steel factory in Austin, Texas that cost $1.06 billion. It is the company's fourth factory in the United States, joining its plant for the assembly of vehicles, which is located in California, its solar facility, which is located in New York, and its battery plant, which is located in Nevada. Tesla also has a manufacturing facility close to Shanghai, China, and is currently in the process of constructing a factory close to Berlin. It is anticipated that the new plant will eventually hire 5,000 workers on a full-time basis with an annual average compensation of $47,000. In today's video, we will talk about the Gigafactory that is located in Texas, its rate of production, as well as provide a unique look at what goes on within the manufacturing plant. So without any further wait, let's go straight into the video. Texas has become Tesla's new home after the company's highly publicized move away from the sepia-toned fields of Silicon Valley, where the company was previously headquartered. The Giga Texas was constructed in Travis County, which is close to the suburbs of Austin, Texas. It was anticipated that the project will cost $1.1 billion, generate approximately 10,000 jobs, and benefit many contractors and suppliers. According to Tesla, the factory will not only function as the company's brand new headquarters, but it will also be the primary factory where the upcoming Tesla Semi and Tesla Cyber Truck will be manufactured. Additionally, the Model 3 and Model Y for its east will also be manufactured there, and they will be supplied to customers on the east coast. The following are some informational tidbits that you might not have been aware of. It's the largest building in the world. There's nothing that even comes close to competing with the fifth and most recent Gigafactory in terms of its land area. Tesla has stated that the building now encompasses a space measuring 8 million square feet and is situated on a land measuring 1,700 acres. The entire facility is powered by renewable sources of energy, with the majority of its energy coming from the sun. It has been claimed that Tesla has spent more than $1 billion on the development of its new vehicle manufacturing factory and the company aims to finish the building and have it ready for production by the end of the year. In addition to the production of automobiles and batteries, the factory is scheduled to begin operations in the areas of painting, stamping, casting, and body shop operations by the time December comes to a close. The Architectural Review Board's decision is being awaited by each and every one of these departments. Tesla has already completed a trial run with the manufacturing of the Model Y at the factory, and the company plans to begin producing the vehicle in volume the following year. Tesla has picked Texas for a reason. Tesla has been the subject of Texas state government's courtship efforts for some time. After several months of economic stagnation due to the effects of COVID, the news that Tesla will establish its headquarters in the state was a welcome relief. According to an article published in Texas Monthly, Tesla has indicated that 65% of the employment it creates will require only middle school educations rather than college degrees. Additionally, the corporation committed to hiring locals from the Travis County area for at least half of the available positions. Nevertheless, this is the kind of partnership that benefits both parties. Not only does Texas supply Tesla with important natural resources, but the state also offers a plentiful supply of land at prices that are significantly lower than those in California. Most crucially, individuals in the state of Texas are not subject to any form of state income tax or tax on capital gains. The amount of tax rebates that the corporation is anticipated to get is close to $65 million, as stated in a report published by Bloomberg. In addition to this, Tesla is expected to be eligible for significant property tax credits in the near future. It's going to have robots. 
In August, Elon Musk, who has been a longtime proponent of limiting the growth of artificial intelligence, revealed that the Giga Texas will begin working on the Tesla bot, in addition to all of the robots that will be utilized for the various specialized manufacturing tasks, Spaceman Musk will also be there. The mobile robotics team at Tesla, which is tasked with bringing to life an advanced humanoid that uses the same sensors and artificial intelligence as Tesla's self-driving autopilot software, is looking for an engineer to join their team. Tesla has posted a job opening for this role on their website. All of Musk's operations are seeking haven in Texas. Not only Tesla has established a presence in Texas, many other companies have done the same. Considering that the state is also the location of NASA's headquarters, it was only natural for SpaceX to make an early property purchase there as well in 2003. SpaceX requires a consistent supply of fuel, and the oil capital of the United States is the ideal location for this. Musk's other companies, such as the Boring Company and Neuralink, have begun hiring in Texas, as a direct result of Musk's interest in the state of Texas, where he is both admired and hated in equal measure. According to Bloomberg, a battery energy storage facility with a capacity of 100 megawatts is being constructed in Angleton, Texas by Gambit Energy Storage LLC, a subsidiary of Tesla. Batteries are used at the facility to store renewable energy that is generated by solar panels and wind turbines. This is a move that is sure to prove profitable in the future as Tesla's energy storage vertical continues to rake in large amounts of money. According to reports, Tesla's energy generation and storage sector brought in a total of $801 million in income for the company in 2017. Massive output from Giga Texas in Q1 of 2023. In the first quarter of 2023, Tesla intends to implement a significant increase in the amount of Model Y vehicles that are manufactured at the Giga factory in Texas. During this time, the position in the United States has become somewhat more complicated as a result of the forthcoming tax credit. Since the beginning of this month, Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin has been producing 2,000 Model Y automobiles each week, and the company has been keeping us apprised of the progress being made in the production ramp there. In addition, manufacturing levels at the automaker's Gigafactory Texas facility are also being increased. Tesla, on the other hand, is not as forthcoming with information regarding the production rate at the Austin factory. Back in June of 2022, Tesla verified a manufacturing pace of 1,000 Model Ys per week, and in September, the company reported that it had successfully produced its 10,000th Model Y. However, the corporation has never verified a manufacturing rate of 2,000 units per week, in contrast to what it did for the Giga factory in Berlin. Despite this, we have recently learned that Tesla is feeling highly confident about the ramping up of production the Gigafactory in Texas. The media has been informed by a credible person with knowledge of the situation that Tesla is presently making preparations for the production of 75,000 Model Y automobiles at the Gigafactory in Texas over the first quarter of 2023. Taking into account the full duration of the quarter, this would mean that Tesla's manufacturing pace at its Texas Gigafactory would be greater than 5,000 units per week. Despite the fact that Tesla is getting ready for that level of production in the first quarter of 2023, the company is not in a rush to get there in the fourth quarter because it is still working on developing the logistics to be able to handle that level of volume growth in the United States. In general, Tesla's aim for volume production is 5,000 units per week. This is also the point at which Tesla intends to be with the Model Y at Giga Texas before shifting its focus to the manufacturing of Cybertrucks. In addition, Sources familiar with the situation have revealed to Electrek that Tesla is currently dealing with a certain level of order cancellations in the United States. These cancellations are said to be the result of lengthy wait times, which have caused the circumstances of some customers to shift between the time they place their order and the actual delivery of their vehicle. In addition to this, Tesla is coping with the fact that some of its customers want to delay the delivery of their vehicles until the following year so that they can benefit from the forthcoming increase in the EV tax credit. As was previously reported, Tesla is not as cooperative as some other automobile manufacturers are about the new EV tax credit, and the company is holding its customers to the order contracts that they have signed. They are unable to speed up delivery in an effort to secure the tax credit that will take effect the following year. Because of this circumstance, it would appear that Tesla is getting anxious about the possibility of ending up with a large number of vehicles in inventory in the United States, as it did during the previous quarter. 
it appears that Tesla's demand problems in the United States are just temporary, and this is likely because of the tax credit that the company is eligible for. We have begun to see some indications that this is the case. If that is the case, then you may also anticipate an increase in demand in January when the tax credit will begin to be available to consumers. It would appear like Tesla is gearing up for an enormous increase in production at the Giga factory in Texas. So, are you excited for Giga Texas's fast production speed? Share with us in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends so we can keep making videos like this. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.